Greetings. As you think, so shall you be. And that was what was taught to Neville Gada by his mentor, Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia. When Abdullah taught Neville Gada that the central character of the Bible is man's imagination. And so we see that when Neville had this burning desire to make a chip to Barbados and he had no work and he had no money, we see how the language of symbology was used to put him in a place of affluence. And that is why I'm encouraging you that the way you think, that's the way you would be. In simple terms, as you sow, so shall you reap. But it's very important for you to understand that imagination is what creates reality. So when it comes to sowing and reaping, before it could be done in the physical, it must be done in the spiritual and psychological world. And that is why the Bible must be understood on three levels. So you have your physical self, your psychological self, and your spiritual self. So the outer man that we look at, which we refer to as the body, is actually the house. And the real essence of being the life that is within you actually resides in this house. And this spirit that resides in this house communicate through vibration and frequency because this life is actually all energy. It's a mass of energy. And so... This communication, it all have to do with thought frequency. And this thought frequency, whenever you send it out intentionally, it will never return unto you void. It must accomplish that with you send it to and prosper in the thing where to you send it. And that is why whatever you design this world, and you want to send your thoughts out and for it to return to you, you must do it feelingly. You must do it with your emotions. Okay, because emotion is energy in motion. So we see Abdullah taught Neville that as a man thinketh in his subconscious mind, so is he. And he taught him the most important key to create his reality consciously. And so Neville through using his energy and operating the science of alchemy, though he was doing it without the full understanding because he was willing to follow instructions and he slept in his mother's home in Barbados while he was residing in New York and walked the streets of New York while he was imagining himself walking the streets of Barbados because he followed those instructions, we see that he was provided the things that he needed to make the trip. And we see that he had more than enough to take the trip and to have money in his pocket and to be dressed in a nice suit. And all of this was taking place in a time of drought, in a time of a great depression. And all of this symbology was to teach you that in life, you will go through a time of depression, a time of drought in your life, whereby you do not know who you are and you do not know your power or how to use your power. But there will come along a mentor because why you had a burning desire for better in your life and you wanted was to live the best version of your life here. Yeah. And because you had that burning desire, that yearning, and you were, you were willing to be honest with yourself and you seek help. You see, guidance. The answer came to you. And so, my brother, my sisters, I'm saying to you that the answers of life are the phenomena of life is right within you because the kingdom of God is within you. And when you learn to look within yourself, then you would realize that it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and creating your personality. You would realize that there is a lot of cause and effect. So do not look at the effects in your life and think that there's an outside cause. All the cause is because of what is taking place within you. Okay, so you're the cause of everything in your life. 
This understanding will help you to understand that as a man thinketh in his heart, I subconscious mind, so is he. So as you think, so shall you be. So if you think poorly, and you think of luck, and mediocrity, and you entertain mental slavery, that would be your results. That is what you would reap. But if you think of riches, if you think about uplifting humanity, if you think about productivity, if you think about being optimistic, if you think about being disciplined and having a, a disciplined mind and being consistent concerning that which you so desire in this world, and you challenge yourself, then you will come to discover that you can do all things through the Christ power that is within you. So, my brother, my sisters, if you should take anything away from this, I'm saying to you, the only how you can transform your life is by the renewing of your mind. It's by reprogramming your subconscious mind. So change the way you feel about yourself and the way you think about yourself and your life will change. It definitely will change because one of the major key to help you to discover that your real identity is your divinity is when you discover, as a man thinketh in his heart, I subconscious man. So is he what it really, really means. Because that will give you the answer to the question of who am I? Because when the answer comes, it will always be I am, that I am. Which is to say, I am whatever I believe myself to be. For as a man thinketh in his subconscious mind, so is he. So as you think, so shall you be. So why not think richly? Why not think productively? Why not think of you living life based on your terms and living the best version of yourself here? So the choice is yours. Neville made the right choice. And today, his work has influenced so many people all around the world because he was willing to follow instructions. So, my conclusion is that you must not just be a hearer, but be a doer. So, with that being said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is your very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it really makes sense to you and it really resonates with you, and you haven't subscribed already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can definitely reach out to me by way of email, and we can definitely go deeper down the rabbit hole. And when you send me that email, I give you the terms and the conditions. Okay, so it's all up to you. Also, if you like to take my $20 course, it's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously, along with my self concept course. Okay, so there's two courses for the same one price. And I would definitely be grateful if you would invest in yourself. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram and you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly led to support this work, I just want to remind you that we have a PayPal and the link is always down below. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I just want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.